Okay, Carol, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Carol, and I'm from Ashley, and I'm working on uh, making patterns for the ribs, which go on the elevators. You start with your print. From your print, you make a pattern, and then after you have your pattern made, you cut it out. Then you will cut your aluminum out and form it. You need two pieces, one for the top, one for the bottom. You'll form the aluminum over this with the uh, press back here. And then you do some fine tuning afterwards. And then you hope it's right. You'll sit it on the rim or on the spar. And uh, sometimes we have to go back and tweak, but... Now, how do you make the actual pattern? How do you, you make were, the actual pattern? Yeah, what were you doing right here just a minute ago? Okay, I'm... <laughs> I want to know where my hole, it makes it easier if I drill the holes first so that when I lay my flat piece of aluminum underneath it, I will drill my holes and it makes it much easier to, because your hole extends up into the radius of the rib. So you're drilling holes and then you drill, drill holes into the metal. Right, I'll into lay the, the aluminum metal. underneath it and I will, I have to make this five-eighths of an inch wider. So I'll already have my holes in here and I go all the way around five-eighths of an inch on my aluminum, not on the pattern. This is the actual pattern, but on my aluminum I'll make sure it's wider than this piece here. Five-eighths of an inch all the way around. You drill these holes so that you get these in here and this piece will be cut out and these do not get cut out. They end up getting you You will put a dent in your form here, and then when you start bending here, you have a piece of steel that you put across, and you hammer that in to because you do not want the uh, bend to come up into the radius. Yep. Okay, okay great. Thank you.